What's up everybody, this is Magic Mitch here coming at you with another food challenge video where once again I'm battling my eating rival, Eager Ethan, aka the Putrid Filthmonger, as we are both taking on the famous Challenger Burger at Rudy's Bar and Grill in downtown Chicago, Illinois. With this burger challenge that weighs in at about 5.5 pounds, we had 30 minutes to complete the entire meal, which consists of the fried egg on top, followed by burger patties covered in cheese and some bacon, all of which is served on a bed of hash browns and fries that's mixed in with a spicy marinara sauce. If we were successful in completing the challenge, we would get the $33 meal for free, a free shirt, be able to sign their wall of fame, and also receive a $100 gift card to the restaurant. For my strategy on this food challenge, my first priority was to make sure that the food challenge itself was properly cooled down. When it first comes out on that iron skillet, it is piping hot, so I had to make sure it was cool enough for me to eat by using a few ice cubes and some water to help cool the challenge down. Once it was ready for me to tear into, my first priority was to get the proteins down first, consisting of the burger patties, the egg, and the bacon. Then I would use my big spoon to move on to the hash brown of fries, and my expectation was that since it was mixed in with the marinara sauce, I would be able to save on the drinks, which was not the case because the marinara sauce did have a bit of spice to it, which wasn't too bad at first, but it did build up over time. Alright, so going on to my review of this challenge, when it comes to the structure, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5. This is certainly one of the most unique burger challenges I have ever attempted. Starting with the food itself, this is one of the few, if not only, burger challenges I'm aware of where it's actually served inside of a skillet. Furthermore, not only is it a unique food, but it also has a unique rule which I left out, and that is you are not allowed to time yourself during the challenge. Now for me personally, I enjoy this rule. I found it to create a different experience while I was attempting the challenge, just because I had no sense of time about halfway through and I felt a sense of urgency, especially since about halfway through is when I started dealing with the, uh, the buildup of spice, which started to become uncomfortable. But even with all that being thrown at you, the risk is still worth the reward. Not only are you getting the gold standard, which includes the meal for free, a free shirt, and wall of fame recognition, but you're also getting a $100 gift card to the restaurant, which in my opinion, heavily outweighs the difficulty of the challenge itself. Now as far as the taste of the food challenge, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Overall, it was a very delicious food challenge and it was very flavorful. I certainly wouldn't mind getting about maybe a third of it as a normal meal. The only complaint I would have with this food challenge, and it is a minor one, is the spice. Although it added flavor to the challenge, it was a little much for my taste, especially halfway through, like I said before, with the heat building up, it did become a little hard for me to deal with. Overall, this is a great food challenge, awesome food, would definitely recommend others to give it a go, and if you enjoyed watching this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you left a little magic of your own by liking and sharing the video, and be sure to subscribe for more fun food challenge videos. And until my next eating adventure, this is Magic Mitch, enjoy the rest of the video, and have a wonderful day.